Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hi, Tori. You're all wound up tonight, huh? Yeah. I know you were funny before. Uh, my assistant Jake was working cleaning this cage for some new arrivals and she was sitting back there and she came right up to the glass looking downward at the top of his head and did sort of a hissing strike and pulled back. Uh, she doesn't like people uh, rattling her cage so to speak uh, so she's a little hyper right now. Aren't you? Aren't you upset a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're upset, I know. I know she's very skittish. She's a very skittish one. Aren't you? Huh? Yeah. I know. I know. We'll be done soon, okay? Yeah, we'll be done soon. I'm going to break out some chicks. You want a chick? Hmm? No? You're still pretty upset, huh? I know. Look at those respirations, everybody. That means that she's pretty upset. Yeah, I know, I know. Just relax. We'll be done soon. We just have to wipe it down and then put the disinfectant in and then uh, uh, we'll put some substrate and get it all ready for the new guests, right? Okay? And then we'll uh, give you a check, okay? Alright, alright. You be a good girl and just relax. There we go. Why? Neighbors get really uh, raucous when... Uh, the construction workers come in to renovate. Yes, folks, there's one of those heat rocks, those menace to snake keeping, of which I've had never a problem in over 30 years. Uh, but that's just me. What are you doing, huh? You're really, uh, really active tonight, huh? It's very rare to see her move at all, except in that one corner. She's really not happy that her house is getting shaken here. There she goes back into her corner. What do you smell, huh? Are you trying to flee? She, she probably detects the disinfectant down below and, and it's a chemical that she's like, oh, whatever this is, this doesn't smell good. Right, huh? You're okay. You're okay, huh? Yeah, you're okay. Now we'll respect her space and give her some room. Now, come on, Atori. Don't be uh, too rambunctious here. It's a long way down, and I don't want you out on the dirty floor. Thank you, good girl. That's uh, highly unusual for Miss Atori. Hmm? Yeah. And you notice I'm giving you quite a bit of uh, respect room there, huh? Two squares out as usual. Camera's a little closer. Oh, I, I guarantee you she would... Uh, freak out and or strike the camera if I tried to do Rhino Viper cam. Wouldn't you, huh? Uh, you wouldn't like that, would you, huh? Hmm? Wanna try? Alright, folks, that's about four inches. The Tory cam. Yeah. All right, I don't want her getting hurt, I don't want me getting hurt, and I don't want the camera to get hurt. So we'll just back off and give her a respectful distance. Go ahead, you're okay. You want a drink, huh? You want to get a drink? 
Want to try a drink, huh? No? Hmm? Yeah. You don't like getting water in your nose, do you? Huh? I'll give you a drink, though. Huh? No? Not what you're after today, huh? Okay. There goes Miss Atori. We'll just uh, let her uh, mosey on back to her corner. We interrupt this dining experience to uh, bring you some long fangs and a big mouth. Yes, Atori, it is I. We're just... Uh, just gonna watch, say that's her trachea opening so she can breathe in between uh, bites as we uh, speak. And there's her meat hooks. A good, uh, probably five eighths or larger, uh, three quarters of an inch maybe. She's getting better. She's uh, allowing me to uh, open the door without having a panic attack. Uh, that is the folded method of eating chicks. Help me, Spock! Help me, Spock! Hey, right. good job, Atori. See, I told you I'd come through. There you go. Alright, enjoy. Now, you guys, look how spick and span and clean that uh, enclosure is. The question is, do I want to feed you again? Because uh, I just know you're going to make a mess out of it. Well, this, folks, is, of course, our favorite uh, synchronized eating team. There uh, used to be three or four members, but uh, they went off to uh, to other places. So let's see uh, what sort of a mood we're in today. Are we going to stay in place and behave? Huh? Okay. That's one large mouth that's full. I see the female up there. Hello, guy. How you doing? These guys are pretty used to the camera, although he did get cranky the other day and, and butt the camera. Now, since he is so devilishly in a bad position, uh, I do trust him, and I don't believe he'll he will open. Uh, his mouth and drop the chick, uh, but uh, I'll use the extra long uh, tongs just in case. <clears throat> no use having this guy hanging off your arm, unless you really have to. I really wish I could find the uh, the exporter that, that sent these over. These are just exquisite. Uh, certainly my favorite of the um, macro vipera world. Now I have to be careful because the female disengaged from her chick and that pupil's fairly well dilated. Now look, if you don't eat, he definitely will. So you go back to what you were doing. That's right. Good job. There you go. Snap out of it. You don't want to leave that uh, chick freshly killed, do you? Huh? Huh? Here. Here, I'll hand you the tasty bit here. Huh? Huh? There you go. Come on, sweetheart. I promise. I've never given it to you the wrong way. <laughs> Have I ever given a, a female it the wrong way? 
That's that's the twenty million dollar question. There you go. You want an an assist? It's that tricky part between the uh, the head and the body that can be difficult for them to negotiate. So sometimes we just help them along by closing the distance. Go ahead. And there you go. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You got it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, looks like uh, you're having a good time too. You better hurry up, sweetheart. He's almost got it licked. See, she's, uh, she's smart. She's pushing it against the substrate, compressing it. Meanwhile, the Bothrops Atrox is sitting there drooling, aren't you? Yeah, you bet. If I opened that door now, it would come flying out like a little rocket. So I would probably enter the cage from the far side. This way it has some space to zoom before it's at my fingertips. All right, there we go. Good job. These are Macroviper Tyrannicas, Blunt Nose Viper. These are from Uzbekistan. And I actually have a pen pal uh, over in Uzbekistan who, uh, who has a location where he can he can find these and catch them. Uh, I hope he's uh, doing well. I haven't contacted him in a while, but I would really love to to find the exporter and get some more of these. These are sweeties. Uh, these are absolutely a rare find, and uh, uh, they were worth every penny that I paid for the for the bunch that came in. Just stunning. Hey, you're doing fantastic. These guys are going to get cooled down in October. Um, I'm going to get them down into the 40 degrees, you know, probably about 10 Celsius or maybe even a little bit cooler, and uh, allow them to brumate or hibernate uh, because these are unrelated pair right here. So uh, I would really like them to breed. And uh, I would love to have some of these out. These are just fantastic. These are serious uh, snakes. Uh, Heavy-duty metalloproteases. These will uh, rot your bitten appendage uh, off in a heartbeat. Um, serious, serious venom. Um, you know, as hot or hotter than most of the rattlesnakes in the United States. Very tough customers. We really seem to be having some trouble there with this chick, huh? Chicks can be difficult sometimes. Now, folks, you'll forgive me if I don't exactly keep it framed. You got it now? Come on. There you go. Good job. There you go. You're over that tough part. And the female also has it licked. Now you leave him alone. He's not bothering you right now. There you go. Good stuff. That's fantastic. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. That's tasty. Okay, Taz is looking for a drink, uh, so I have to check her water. So I'll just let you guys finish this off. There you go, Macro Viper at Tyrannica. Blunt nose uh, vipers uh, from uh, Uzbekistan. Just stunning animals. I'm hoping this will be a, uh, a demonstration of what I call the rat vacuum. And that's uh, uh, 
any black mamba just adores rats. Now this is a rat pink and that's this guy has been eating fuzzy mice and you know most of you know that that's a bit of size difference but he was looking at me very or she was looking at me very expectantly and tonight I'm feeding the snakes that enjoy rats uh, they're, they're rats if they were due for food uh, so I figured I would get the smallest uh, rat pink out of there and uh, and see what this vacuum could do. And as you can see, he's got the head past his rear of his jaws and skull, and that's a damn good start. Now this is a snake. Mm, I don't know, maybe less than. 12 millimeters well in the center it's 15 millimeters but it's a pretty pretty slender uh, character am I uh, disturbing you I'm sorry but we want to see you vacuum up that uh, pink rat and we want to see how fast uh, you are uh, once you got that in your belly I bet you're not so fast at least part of you might still be fast. I know. I'm looking over your shoulder, so to speak. Look at that. That's pretty good. In two minutes, the vacuum sucked it down. <laughs> These guys never cease to amaze me. They're damn proficient feeders, that's for certain. Yeah, my jaw's stuck. I gotta fix it. Yeah, now you gotta get the rest of the way down. You know, have you ever thought about it, folks? Uh, can you imagine swallowing something that sizable that it's going to compress your blood vessels and your heart as it goes down? That would be a mighty uncomfortable uh, uh, thing. But snakes do it routinely. Juvenile black mamba cam. Now I'm shooting blind. I don't know where the head is exactly, but I'm... I'm guessing it's right in front of the, the lens of the camera. Um, but I, I never like to have my own eyes leave, leave the pointy end. Because I always like to know where it is. It's just like, you know, I, I know I have mirrors on the cars. But a lot of times I'll just turn my head and I'll look anyway. Just to put my real eyes on it and not some uh, uh, artificial image. Uh, it's always good to use your eyes and not necessarily the tools that are substituting for your eyes. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. You get that sucker all the way down there? Oh, is that yummy, huh? Yeah, that'll fill your tummy in a hurry, won't it? Huh? That'll fill your tummy. No, we, we're not going to give you another one. I think that's... That's quite enough. Quite enough. This guy, of course, is piggy and will eat till he, he or she explodes, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, hi. Yep. We're back to defensive posture. He gets in these like little blissful states where, you know, he's enjoying his meal and forgets that I'm a necessary evil uh, when it comes to that. Hello. How are you? Yeah, it's the camera. You know the camera. Take it easy. Take it easy. The camera's your friend. My. That's a big lump in your gut, huh? Yeah, I want to see you do the 100 yard dash now. <laughs> Look at that. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. 
Okay. Really, folks, if I thought that uh, uh, he, was, he or she wasn't going to be able to do that, uh, I wouldn't have given it to her or him. Uh, but if you ever we wondered where a snake's stomach really is located, uh, well, there you have it. Uh, it's about, oh, a good, mm, probably 12 to 15 inches back from, from the head of this particular snake. Uh, uh, but, you know, he's not going to, he's not going to store it in his throat. He's going to put it in his stomach. Hey, I see what you're doing. You're, uh, you're checking what distance I am from you. You just, uh, you just chill out. The camera's not going to bother you. And certainly, you don't need another meal after that. So you can just, uh, just sit and digest. <laughs>